Hey everyone, it's Sandra here with Sandra's Beaded Path. And I just wanted to do a little share with you. I was recently at Hobby Lobby and I was over in the candle making section. And as you know, or some of you may know, that I also am a distributor for a candle company um, uh, called Sensations. And they make uh, all natural wax candles. And with that, I, I also get a monthly subscription of candles. And in that subscription, I get a box of votives. And it's like, it's a six pack. And each of the votives is about, let's see if I remember correctly, I think they're 2.75 ounces, almost three ounces. So they're a little bigger than your normal votive that you find in the stores. And anyways, so while I was looking at their supplies and stuff, I kind of had a little bit of an epiphany. And because, I'll show you why, I found these little canisters that I can make that I could melt the candle down and I could pull the you know the wick out so that I could reuse it melt the can the wax down and re-pour it into these little containers and then these outside of these containers I can decorate with my polymer clay designs so um, that's what I'm gonna do with that so I found these, you get a set of four and they were $5.99 for the four and they're six ounce tins. So I can use about two votives per can. Should give me a good candle. Um, and then um, two, two three, six, eight. So you know, box and a half about I can get four candles of the voters anyway <laughs> sorry doing some math out loud and so I found these they were $5.99 and I believe they were 30% off so it was less than that and then while I was at it I was like you know I like you oh here's my receipt were they yeah they were they were 30% off which made them um, let's see, $3.99. So they were $3.99 instead of $4.99, or $5.99. Anyways, they also had the little, um, tea light holders, which, and these come with the wicks, actually. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Um, but I could do little tea lights for the, um, you know, the scent warmers that use the little votives uh, because I do get unscented votives which this would be perfect for um, otherwise you know, you're gonna get the scent from the candle and not from the melter so I'm gonna do that oh there's more up in there look at that so <laughs> wow I didn't realize that those had the thing these were $3.99 which got marked down I think uh, this got marked down to looks like 359 I think oh no I'm sorry oh shoot I don't remember <laughs> anyways it was um, they were on sale this might have been the one that got marked down to 359 oh duh yep right there 359 they were 599 marked down oh I used my 40% off coupon that's why oh my goodness anyway so that's that's my plan is to use these and actually I'll just pull it open and I'll save this plastic because this plastic I can use to um, store my clay in because it won't leach the moisture out. So, 
yeah see I can just pour the wax right in here I'll decorate them first because I do have to bake the clay so I'll decorate them first and I'm gonna do that in another video um, and kind of show you my progress as I go I kind of have a couple ideas I might be able to use some of those Christmas canes that I made um, the quilt uh, the quilt squares that I did and uh, yeah, so I will be doing a video for that and you know, and I can decorate this on top and um, I can put something down here. I'm also going to work on another cane that uh, for, with my uh, initials so that I can have my uh, sort of like a little signature on the pieces that I make when I sell them. So anyways, that's, that's it. Just wanted to share that little bit. And, um, oh, before I go, I'll share, I just finished some more cabs, finished baking them, and I got them sanded and glazed, and there's a variety that I did, but here's one, this is one that I did, and I really like how this turned out, the, this was using, um, translucent clay, um, dyed with uh, alcohol ink so the blue is the alcohol ink that I used and made my own actually uh, and then white clay so the regular white clay mixed with the got this really cool marble effect so there's that one and then I did oh that one's not done yet I did this one from some scrap clay that I had and I just really liked the marble effect with the red and the gold and the green and yeah so this is really kind of Christmassy and I did it on the back and you can see the filler clay I used was pink but I will do bead embroidery around this so you'll never see you won't ever see this and then I did a different shape this one's really vibrant And then this was an older one that I had that I did. It's really pretty deep dark plum and silver marbled. And let's see how that's it. Oh, and I made my own pokey tool. And I just put the out used uh, scraps from one of my canes and made my own little pokey tool. So now I can do that. I have this one and then I have a smaller one. So I have two sizes. Oop. Got this idea from another uh, YouTuber that I watch. Uh, her name is Susan and her channel is Turtle Soup Beads. She's an awesome artist. Uh, I've been sharing some of her work on my Facebook. Um, the most recent one was a sugar skull that she did. It turned out really fabulous. So be sure to go and check her out. I will put a link to her channel in the description below. And um, until next time. Oh, I got some new tools. I should. Sorry. <laughs> Before I go. Last thing and then, then I'm going to go. So um, I got some new tools. And I got a set of ball tools that I found on Amazon. And so there's the regular ones, these pink ones, and then these were included also, the really fine-tipped ones. Um, I think you can use these in nail art. And these have the wooden handle, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put clay. I'm going to put clay around these, decorate them up a little bit. And so, yeah, so I got all of these for like $8. Um, and then, you know, with Amazon Prime, I had free shipping, two-day free shipping. So, you know, they were ordered them on Friday. They were here by Monday. So, yeah, so I have some new tools to work with to do all my clay. And um, that is it, I promise. I'm going to go play around with some clay and come up with uh, some designs for this uh, candle holder. And I will catch you guys all next time. Um, 
And until then, everyone have a very wonderful day and talk to you soon. Bye!